Hey guys, quick disclaimer before the video starts. Just um, after we finished um, filming the video, I noticed that my head was cut off for most of the video. We have got a tripod that's on the way, but it didn't arrive in time of filming this, so we had to make do with making our own. And we can see half of the screen. Uh, half of the screen was where my head was, so uh, you'll see that most of the video, my head will be chopped off a tiny bit, but we'll make sure that doesn't happen again. And I hope you guys enjoy it. For another video today as you can see um, it's not a vlog it's a little bit of a different one we decided to um, well I decided to try something different I got a recommendation from my sister to see if Gemma or get Gemma to try some Polish snacks food drinks and yogurts and stuff so um, so that's 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 what we're gonna do today uh, Gemma hasn't tried many of these i'm not sure which one she has or she hasn't she hasn't told me I've so i've had similar ones but not actually these ones uh but this is some of the stuff that i grew up in with sorry um when i was younger so um we'll try and get through this so which ones do you want to start with we'll start with the yogurts start first. with the yogurts so then the so first one we'll do this one here so this one is called a smiker there you go oh, so you can see it like that I've not had this in so long. It looks so, like the equivalent of a Muller Corner yogurt. See if she likes any of these because normally she's very against. Right, I'm going to now try this. What it's is just it? a yogurt it's by the way. It's just a yogurt at the end of the day. I don't have much flavour. I thought it was going to be more flavourful than that. It's nice, but it don't have much flavour. And it's no. a weird texture. I'm weird with textures. I don't like textures. But yeah, it's alright. What would you give that out of 10? Seven. It's That's nice. It doesn't, it doesn't have much flavour, so. Not too bad. This one here. So this one's Yoga Bella zero percent. I'm not sure why I picked up zero percent. It's just the one I picked up. What? Zero percent fat, I'd say. Oh. Yeah, zero percent fat. Um, I used to have these when I was a kid. My dad always used to buy me them, so I know these ones are good. It's really nice. Yeah? Yep. That's cool. What would you give out of 10? Go on. Probably a 9. Yeah, there you go. That's You're going to have to finish that at the end of the video. Next one is Monte. So now they, they sell these in Tesco, but without the little... Smart, they're like Smarties. They're like Smarties, I'm guessing, yeah. They don't sell them without that like little plastic pot. It's a tiny little thing, so hopefully you like this one. If this is anything below a 10, then... No, that's a 10. That's yeah, good. I was going to say, that is the best it's really nice. it's yogurt It tastes like Nutella get. in a yogurt. Tell you more. Make sure you get some. They sell them in Tesco in packs of six. Make sure you get them. Go to the drink. We'll do this one here. Okay. So I can have a little bit as well then. Um, so this is Tim Bark Green Banana. As you can see there. Um, once again, these ones you can get in Tesco's, but it depends if they have them in stock and what flavors they have in at that time. It smells like a banana, banana smoothie. Mm. It's quite strong. It's nice, but it's quite strong. I'd give that probably a six. Oh, a six. <laughs> it's too is that strong. It? It's oh, yeah. So there you go. So this is Tim Bark again, but this one's in a can. Um, so it's apple and watermelon, you can see there. Personally, I've not tried this one. I picked this up because this is the first time I've seen these. So and I thought that was actually Is this cool. fizzy? It is fizzy, yes. Okay. I don't like watermelon. Yeah, see, it's the smell. That's, it's, I, I know what that's gonna taste like and I don't like Ooh. that. No, that's not nice. Do you wanna try it? I'll try I've it. I've tried it. I'd probably give that a two, but I don't like watermelon flavoured stuff. A two? Yeah. Really? I don't like watermelon flavoured stuff. I'd it's say really I'd say seven or eight. This is Yeah, but you probably like watermelon. I like watermelon I don't. though, don't I? Yeah. Yeah, this is really start with these. These are I mean if you're Polish you know what these are, so uh, <laughs> they are literally Gemma thinks they're like Haribos, but she's in for a bloody shock. 
They're not. Okay, so you pick one. Or pick two. Pick two flavours. My sister loves these. I'll pick a red one. Yeah, so cherry I believe. Uh, orange. An orange. Here we go. I love these. These are like... I can say they taste like Haribo's, but they don't. They have different tastes. I mean, they, they, they don't taste different. I literally grew up on these. These... Like some of this stuff I can remember having when I was a kid. When I was six, seven years old and these used to be... They're quite strong in their flavours, yeah. but I wouldn't say they're any different to like normal UK jelly sweets. That's let down there again. We'll go with these. Okay. We'll go with these. So these are Grzeszki. These are tiny bits of like wafers. So you can have a look. It's there. If it zooms in properly, but yeah, so like that. They sound good. They are a bit squarish. Squarish. They are literally like what sort of thing? They're really good. I'll give them a 10. Yeah, 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 another 10. They're nice and soft too. But you know, these, people probably send these already. So these you can get in Tesco. Um, you can get them in every Tesco, I think, that they have. And this is what the box looks like. So yeah, Jemmy, if you would like to open this one. Definitely sounds like dark chocolate. They are really good. Yeah, I'm having one. <laughs> this is not what I expected. I expected the marshmallow to be more chewy, but it's really soft. So, these. Um, these are open because Ariel can't resist opening them. I can't resist them, so I opened them earlier. Um, so, how do I explain this? They're corn chips, you'd say corn crisp, sorry? They're a bit like the texture of like a what's it. Yeah, so, so yeah. what's it, but without the cheese. So plain yeah. what's it with chocolate. I'll show they're you chocolate. what they look like. You can see that they've got a little bit of the chocolate. There you go, like that. Kyle has had one of these and he actually likes it. Kyle. Are you going? You want crispy? There you go. I don't know if you can see him in the camera, but there he is. What would you give these? That's strange. Because you put it in your mouth expecting to like eat a what's it because that's the texture of them, but it's like a more chocolatey flavour and they literally like disappear in your mouth, like they melt in your mouth. But they're quite nice, so I'd probably give them a six. Quite nice and you give them a six. <laughs> yeah. I'd give something a six that wasn't nice. These ones are my favourites. Um, so these are peanut classics, curlies. Um, so if we've got, have we got an English one? So corn snacks with freshly grounded peanuts. That's what they look like. They're usually around a pound and you can find them in most shops and don't even have to be Polish. Just any corner shop, most of them should have them. And that's what they look like. And if you like peanut butter, these are going to be your best friend. I like peanut butter, but they smell so strong. Oh, they're so like, strong. They're, they're really lovely. Strong. Got them. I just want one. Don't oh, me. she's going to only have one. Don't tip it on me. I could literally eat this. If I have one, I'll, I'll eat this whole pack without even thinking about it. How good are they? Come on. They're good, but I wouldn't be able to have more than a couple at a time. Because they're, they're really strong. They're amazing. I'd they're give these a 10 for Chris, but that, yeah, 10 for me. I'd probably have them like five. Ooh. Once again, the numbers are different. Okay, we'll go with these. Um, so these are like wafers with oh, coconut, by the looks coconut like. yeah. So right there, I'll show you like this. Um, they look good. Okay, so I've got two that are stuck together. Oh, That's what they look like. Wine. Oh, they smell as well. They're very coconutty. They smell like Ferrero Rocher straight off the start. The, the, we uh, have a Raffaello. That's the one. <laughs> They literally taste like... Yeah. This. This is a coconut wafer as well. I've had this before and it's literally my favourite thing. I love it. And they do taste so don't know. These you can get in Tesco, by the way. So you don't have to go anywhere special for it. They normally do three for a pound. I'm not sure if they do the long ones, but... 
same ones as this, but this, yeah, this is really good. How much? But yeah, what would you give these? Ten. Okay. okay. We'll break up. So like, you've got biscuits, normal biscuit, and you've got a layer of words. You've got, you've got layer, yeah, like a layer of caramel like on top with, kind of um, with an extra layer on top. As you can see, they've got like texture at the top. Okay, so these ones are nice ones. These ones are soft. Normally, they don't have that filling in the middle. These are gingerbread. They are gingerbread, yes. Game changer. How good are these, though? They're good. I like gingerbread. I'd give them a nine. Ooh. A special edition. Look like Christmas edition. So once again, this one is very similar to the white. These ones we've had. Um, not pretty. And once again, it is different, but it's it's the same. How it, the wafer is the same, mm -hmm. but that one has got coconut Kicks. bits on top, yeah. and that's what gives it the flavour. This one doesn't have it. I think that's what they look like. Pure white. I'd give that one a nine. I haven't got as much flavour as the other ones, but they're still really good. And you can get these, like I said, at Tesco, free for. A pound, so these are really um, however, right there. Um, I've had it before, and it's probably like the most difficult thing to explain. Like, you it's, it's a food you can't explain, but it's really nice. Looks like so. There you go, it looks like this. Like I say, it doesn't look very appetizing, but I had this from the age of six, seven, and yeah. So, what would you rate this? Nine and a half. Place I can't give it a full ten because it's really only have a tiny bit of it, but it's really nice. It translates into English as halva. So it's halva in Polish and it's halva in English. Mm. It's just spelled differently. But um I've never I've never had these outside of you know, like the Polish shops and stuff. I've not really seen them anywhere. You don't I remember one day like I've been to London in Westfield, like Westfield in London, and um, they were you know the people that walk around and give out like testing yeah. and stuff. They were they actually had them and they were giving out pieces of halva in London Westfield. Really? Yeah. Ooh. I would have just taken the whole lot. They do all different flavors as well. There's like chocolate, finished your crispy. Like loads. Apart from that, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>